If you were black, you were at the end of the line. No matter what your height was, when we graduated from high school, and I know my father was also a protester of that, finally that was changed. You couldn't join the YMCA in Nyack. And so also with that in mind, my father intervened, and they opened up the gym at the high school two or three nights a week so the black kids could go up there and play basketball. I remember when one lady ran for the school board once, and that used to be just an insignificant thing, the school board, because it was pretty much the same people more or less running and that sort of thing. And this one black lady in Mrs. Fountain ran for the school board, and they had a queue all the way up to Pew Avenue with people deciding to vote in view of the fact that she was going to run. But uh, as I say, our relationship at school was all right with the kids, you know. And here, when we moved in, of course, there was fear and consternation setting in. And I remember looking out in the backyard one day and my daughter was out there in the middle of a little ring reading stories to all the kids in the block. So the parents were not speaking to us, hating us, I guess, but somehow or other. You know, it's now the woman who's hardest on us living here has a key to our house. We have a key to her house. <laughs> I guess they don't judge people as people. And that's the unfortunate thing.